Before we get into today's video, I just need to remind everyone I'm not a financial advisor. You must do your own due diligence. Please take today's video as entertainment only. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. I hope you are all well. It is a lovely day again. The stocks are doing well. Um, it's good to see a bit of a turnaround. Hopefully April continues in the same vein that we've seen over the last couple of days. Uh, today's video is actually a request that I've got from a follower on the Instagram. Uh, they asked me to do a video and I'm only getting around to it today and it's on American battery metals. So this one's for you Josh big lad and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Before we get into it though, can you please like, please subscribe, grow on the channel guys. We're about 40 odd people left um, and we've hit the 1000. I'm really, really excited about getting there and I can't believe it honestly that we, that we are getting there so quick so thank you to everyone that has subscribed uh, any feedback any comments is always welcomed um, and please feel free to leave anything in the comments below about how I can maybe develop do you want to see more financials um, you know what way do you want me to develop these videos American battery metals guys is going to be in the same vein as the other stocks that I've talked about you know it's about lithium it's about mining stocks it's about battery production it's about the future so a lot of these videos um, that are in this sector, I'm not focusing too much on the financials. Again, I just lightly touch on it because there's not much point. This company, like the rest of them, aren't making much money or no money at all. You're literally buying the stock on the hope or catalyst of the future that lithium's gonna grow and these things will throb. So if anyone's thinking, well, why doesn't he talk about the financials? That's it, and there's not much point. And this company is no different than the rest. You know, it's a small enough market cap. It's on the pink sheets. You know, it's got a 1 billion less market cap. So, it, you know, it's small beer. That's why we don't talk about the financials. You're hoping for a catalyst. These stocks are highly risky and I cannot stress that enough. You're buying into a sector on the hope that lithium is going to throb. So this is American Batteries website, uh, powering the future of clean energy through battery recycling. So I like that it's to do with recycling. Um, like I said, there's a lot of these plays, guys. I mean, I could be doing videos every day for the next year on different types of mining companies and, and, and companies that are in this sector. I like to try and find ones that have a bit of a niche. Like I said, I'm not going to invest in every single one of them. I wouldn't have enough money in the world to invest in every single one of them, but I like ones that have have a, a certain niche um, and I like recycling now I've done aqua metals um, previous stock I'll share the link here you can go on and check out that for a bit of price comparing um, and a wee bit of comparing the technology but let's have a look and see what exactly um, they're doing now we'll notice at the top American battery metals corporations in the process of changing its name to American battery technology company we'll get to hear all about that let's see how it works here okay so um, they go in end of life batteries consumer electronics blah 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 all the different types of lithium plays that we have you use it every day guys and it's just gonna get bigger with EV plays and all that and these recover uh, metals are refined to battery grade specifications and then sold back into the supply chain in the true closed loop process so to talk about the demand of lithium ion batteries as we know um, and to cope with the demand yes we will have different mining ones but also to be able to uh, recycle and we know the importance of recycling so i do believe straight off the bat guys that ones that are doing recycling are a very niche and to me are nearly the best bet so i'm liking this so talk about the hazardous waste the pitfalls includes fire of metal waste recovery facilities as well as the loss of valuable minerals that could otherwise be reused very important recycling so they talk about the process nevada is a rich resource of battery metals so such as lithium obviously we knew it was going to be american as situation with american battery technology as the website um and they're becoming the leader in the environmental sustainable production of critical minerals that fuel the EV battery storage markets. So if you go into the investors and relations section, you can see all the different types of um, net messages, which is very, very frequent. Again, like my other videos, I love companies that keep you well up to date with news, different things, even if it's just generic sort of news about the, the certain sectors that it's in, it's still all very good. So this one talking about pre um, President Biden's infrastructure plan, which we talked about EVs, clean power, 1.9 trillion being pumped in, that's only gonna get things fired up, like, uh, which is good. Uh, also, just to let you know, this company was formed about 10 years ago, so in and around 2010, um, and it IPO'd only this year, so it's only been on the market while, which is, I feel like is a good opportunity to bring up the chart here. So you can see here, start of the year, guys, it IPO'd, it's, it's throbbed right up. Um, I really like the fact that, you know, this is, Jesus, 232% up from the highs of right now. That is 
crazy, about 34 uh, million volume. Now it's dropped about six million, and it's up twenty eight percent on the year. So I mean that that's that's nice. That's a good rise. I feel like this is a great entry point if you're interested. You've even got that kind of target in mind that you know this stock can get up to what's that three point nine, sort of four dollars a share. It's a recycling company. This kind of price, um, even at the highs, is it kind of four point two was the high in and around the same price as, as Aqua Metals. So I like the fact that we could get in here at this price, guys. This is really good. Going back to the website then, so you can see plenty of different news articles and stuff like that there. But I'm gonna. Just actually Google this to see what the main outlets are reporting. Most recent then, April the 6th, only a few days ago, uh, American Battle Metals Corporation comments on President Biden's infrastructure plan. Okay, so we know about the infrastructure plan, not going to talk too much about it, but let's just see what they said about it. American Battery Metals Corporation Chief Operation Officer stated, We applaud uh, Biden's call for sweeping investments in electric vehicles, renewable power and electric grid as part of a broad blueprint to bluster the US economy while um, combating climate change. As prices of electric vehicles become more in line with similar conventional cars and trucks and charging electric vehicles is more accessible and faster, the penetration of EVs will accelerate beyond its current niche. Industry experts believe supply chain bottlenecks, including availability of critical materials, will need to be solved to enable widespread adoption of uses of EVs. Our company is addressing this challenge by scaling our proprietary lithium battery recycling and extraction technologies to increase production of critical materials in the United States using low environmental impact processes. So they're kissing Biden's arse here. Um, I'm not surprised. And to be honest with you guys, you know, American battery technology or metals, whatever you want to call it, a company that has America in the name, I think it's just going to have an extra niche. I know it sounds stupid, but I think that that's, that's kind of, you know, a patriotic kind of thing. I would say out of all the different plays that there is, if it's got American names, to me, if they're doing a good product and you're neck by neck and you're going, which one would I pick? Even if it came down the price, I still think American batteries would get the vote. And it's an infrastructure plan into America. So that's American company, an American name, American source. To me, text the box. So they went on to say our planned 200,000 metric ton per year lithium eon battery recycling pilot plant has commenced permitting and design build construction. We expect operations to begin at the end of 2021. So again, long hold guys. And revenue generation in the first quarter of 2022. So again, a year from now guys, before they'll even be in a position to make revenue. It's an on-site global development center will support both recycling and primary battery metal extraction uh, technologies. The plant will include an analytic lab, process lab, piloting bays, evolution of technologies, and conceptual to commercialization. Our location in Fernley, Nevada allows for access to non-site renewable power, solar power and has nearby rail and highway infrastructure. So logistics look good guys. Nevada is great for taxes. Um, it's in line with that lovely big sort of EV place that's down the road. Tesla, not saying that that's going to be a connection, but I like the fact that that seems to be the place at the moment for these types of things to throw up. Located in an opportunity zone and is estimated to benefit the local economy by 340 million in its first 10 years of operation will be scaled and repeatable for future plants around the United States. Big targets, solid pipeline dreams um, but it all looks good some of the other news then they've added new expertise you know they're changing the name which is another good sign that they're trying to you know obviously direct the company in a space that they want to go into uh -huh. Have you ever heard of Reuters? Of course you have. It's the biggest financial news outlet in the world. And I've uh, been fortunate enough to do two articles with them. So go in the description below and you can check them out. And also while you're down there, you might as well click the link to free trade. You and I both get a free share up to 200 pounds. It's important to have diversity guys, not only in your portfolio, but also your brokers. You know, just in case any of these new sites go up at Piton guys, it's important to have your money spread. Also, it's good to have different brokers. I like to have certain ones that have money out of sight out of mind the likes of these stocks that i'm talking about today these are long 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 holes and there could be many many red days ahead and sometimes that has a negative effect so it's good to have a different broker we can put all this stuff and go i'll talk about that in five six ten years time let's just put that money aside and see where it goes so that would be my tip guys so click the link get that free money also, today is the last day of the Twitter vote, guys. Get on, get casting. It looks like floor mining is actually going to be leading the way. So that will be the video that will come to you next week. So if you're excited or you want to change that, get in, get voting on the Twitter vote, guys. Another article, American Battery Metals Corporation provides an update on the S3 registration statement. So uh, they're in the process then of changing their name, which we talked about, it just says here, um, and this current SC, S3 registration statement and current plans. Statement for shelf filing to raise up to $250 million 
which was initially filed on the January 28th, 2021, was declared effective on March 15th, 2021. No immediate plans are in place to access the shelf registration as American Battery Metal Corporation raised a total of $9.2 million in January and an average price of $2.17 per share. Okay guys, so again with this company, and like all these companies, they're not making money. To be able to invest in the products that they're doing, they need to raise more money. So you're going to get either shares dilution, you're going to get sell-offs, you're going to get funding and raising of, of all this kind of stuff. And the only way to really do that is by usually asking the shareholders. So if you're buying these stocks, guys, yes, you might get a throw-up. I'm not saying you just won't. You I mean you could easily, you've seen that 230% rise or whatever, and we looked at the charts. You could buy now and get back to that rise and you can walk away rock hard. I'm not trying to do that. I'm buying on the hope that this will throw up for the next 10 years. So if that's your taste, fair enough. Now, perhaps if I was to get a $200% rise, I would take out my initial investment. You know, if I'm gonna double up on my original investment, I would maybe take out the money and just leave the house money in. That ideally is the best place to be with these highly risky stocks. But for me, guys, this is very much a long hold and you need to be prepared for investment and stock dilutions and stuff like this in order to raise capital but you want a company to invest in its product in itself in its marketing to grow bigger long term i mean even changing the name there's a lot of branding that will come along with that and that all costs money a bit of more positive news american battery metals corporation joins the critical minerals institute this is good guys you know to be asked to come and join this institution um, is only a good thing. It shows that they're obviously respectable and they're thought of highly. The technical officer went on to say, American Battery Technology Company is honored to join the CMI Advisory Board to represent the lithium eon battery recycling community. Well, guys, that's the video. I really hope you found this one informative. Again, it's in the same space that we talked about. I know I've loosely, lightly spread a wee bit of over the, the whole lithium sector. Again, going to my other previous videos, especially the sort of first ones, that's when I really died world and really got into the whole, you know, what lithium and how important it's going to be. So if you feel like I've not touched on that too much, it's because I've reiterated it several times in different videos. So please go into the archives, check out that. I've set up a playlist that's all to do with battery mining and what I'm trying to do here is, as I said, is trying to build up a consortium, build up a pile of these here because they are highly risky. It is highly dodgy. So instead of putting a couple of grand into one of them, I'm spreading the money across. So it's small enough beer, a couple of hundred pound in this one, a couple of hundred pound in that one. The idea is all the money into the sector and the hope will be then that this sector will throw up all the indicators and all the signs are saying that that will be the case. But like anything, guys, a new technology could come out tomorrow and this could change. So although we're investing the money across a load of them we will continue to monitor the sector so it's important to hit that subscribe button hit the alert button guys i'll keep you up to date on all the lithium plays all the mining plays all the battery plays i'm going to continue growing this i'm nearly bringing you a new video every week and i will continue to do this and continue to monitor not all of them i'm investing in but the majority i am and this is another one that i think why not guys spread a bit of money into this one as well open up a position small beer initially 50 quid and we'll see where it's at but the good thing is some of the mistakes i've made in the previous ones is that i've caught them at the very height of the hype and then it's went down. This one, guys, if you, as you've seen by looking at the chart, it has had a good, significant pullback. I really do feel that we're getting in at this price is a solid enough price. So if you share the same feelings as me, do give me a subscribe. Get me on the Instagram, BHS, DMV. Keep me up to date with all this treat. Leave your comments below. And until next time, guys, enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Peace. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.